Our culture is dying. The mountains have been scarred by the outside world. Our people have been influenced to flee, conform, or sell out. Appalachian traditions have been seeping into the popular identity. The Appalachian people, no longer sheltered by the mountains, are being assimilated, yet the stereotypes remain. Bible beaters. Having cars on blocks in the front yard. No teeth. Uneducated. Marrying at 16. Lazy. Barefoot and pregnant. Inbred. Home miners. How we live in a holler. Truck driving, Jesus loving freaks. Education was not lost on the early mountain folk, but it certainly wasn't the foundation of their children's lives. Today, school is mandatory and technological advances bring new opportunities to the academic promises of today's Appalachian youth. Not only are the mountain children as well versed in the technology as children across the United States, they share in the same culture, the same trends, all made possible by global communication and media immersion. This new global entity that brings us new tools of learning and global unity is also tearing our culture apart. Our history is being museumized or celebrated by town-wide festivals, a culture gone, only remembered once a year. Our tools and artifacts are being industrialized, culture broken down into pieces and sold off bit by bit. No longer are families large, self-sufficient, and scraping by on a farm. They are the model atomic family, scraping by paycheck to paycheck and buying their groceries at the supermarket a culture muted by commercials and capital. We are just like everybody else. The Appalachian culture is fading away into the digital, into the electric, yet the stereotypes remain. They remain. I grew up in a little hollow. My house was just off a narrow dirt road called Gun Creek that split deep into the mountains. I remember. I remember it being a sunny lot. I played outside there feet and all. Way through the creek, chasing frogs and crawdaddies. Catch June bugs, butterflies, smile, and we'll let them go. Sometimes I'd go down to the swimming pool. On Sundays, I put on my best. Church is very important, so I'm told. I finished high school, college, and never considered dropping out. I'm working on a master's degree that I will finish. School is very important, so I'm told. I listen to bluegrass, punk rock, new wave, and hip hop. A little classical every now and again. My heroes are Johnny Cash and Spider Man. I know that NPR, BBC, and ACLU are more than just letters. I have a cell phone, an Xbox, a PC with a Pentium quad core processor, 4 gigs of RAM, and 320 gigabyte hard drive. I like libraries and museums, science projects, and state fairs. I like fresh fruit from the farmer's market and I like hand-stitched quilts made by my grandmother. I like shooting guns and shooting pool, but I've never shot up. I like cornbread as much as I like bruschetta. I'm a t-shirt and a jeans person, but overalls are just fashionable sometimes. I mean, Mickey Mouse wears overalls, and I've never heard anybody call him a hillbilly. I've been called a redneck, pigger, and bread mountain neck. When it all comes down to it, white trash is nothing more than a crumbled up piece of paper with a coffee stain right on the side of the street. The exponential growth of technology is making it simple to integrate differing cultures into one another. Through global communication, we are creating a global culture. Secluded cultures, like the one here in Appalachia, are shrinking and so are the stereotypes that go along with it. As the world grows smaller, the melting pot begins to boil over. The true Appalachians are all but gone. This is their death song. Remember them. Remember us. Just remember us when you're snuggling up in your patchwork quilt from Indonesia. Just remember us when you're using your industrial cast iron skillets while cooking breakfast. Just remember us when you're with your family and everything is warm. Remember the work. Remember the music. Remember the mountains. Just remember us for what we once were. Look at us as we are now and realize the mountains are just as much a part of you as they are home to us.